pasuk in the Navi Amos Parakhes, pasuk Al tells us, "Hine yomim boim, the days are coming. She shlach the rich bars. I'm going to send a famine throughout the land. The rabba lechem below tzam alamayim. It's not going to be a famine for bread or water. Kim l'shmo es the Hashem. People will be thirsty to the word of Hashem. Those days are now. We're in a time where people are thirsting all throughout Eretz Israel since the attack on October 7th. People are, many, many people are coming back to Hashem. They're thirsting for knowledge. And we see the Navi's words, the Prophet's words coming to live in front of us. What can we do to speed up this process? What can we do to be a part of it? Chazal tell us, Chazal teach us, that Ein Ben David Bo Eladarsh Kulo Chayiv or Kulo Zake. The Mashiach will only come to a generation which is totally righteous or totally evil. And the Arizal asks, how is this possible? There will always be righteous people and there will always be evil people. How is it possible that we'll have a generation which is completely righteous or completely evil? It seems like it's impossible. It seems like Chazal will put us into a situation which will not happen. If to find the situation will not happen. It says the Arizal, and the Prophet concurs with this understanding, that it's not talking about two types of generations. It's talking about one generation. There'll be a generation with polarization. The good people will be really good, and the bad people are really bad. And we see this today happening in front of our very eyes. We see people are going to the right, and people are going to the left. People are choosing sides. And this is what's incumbent upon us now. The Torah says, I put life in front of you, choose life. The two options are in front of us, choosing life and choosing death. Each and every one of us has a special part in this process of the Gula, which only we can do. No one else can do them. The Gemara and Sanhedrin brings many names from Mashiach, and each name is the same as the person, as the uh, Amora who said it. And uh, the Marsha asks, what's going on here? Right? Each one thinks it's Mashiach. And the explanation is, is that each person has within himself a part of Mashiach. Each person has a little bit of a spark, a little bit of a piece of this process within himself. And it's incumbent upon each and every one of us to find that spark, to fan it, and to create a great fire that will be the warmth of the Gula. It's happening now in front of our eyes. Our job right now is to find that spark within ourselves. Find that special mitzvah. Find that special tzila. Find that special Torah portion that you can learn. Whatever it might be, find your chilek in the gula. Look for it and find it. Rabbeinu Ayona asks on Mishle. It says, Hold there at each Yosher Be'enam. The path of the right person is straight in his eyes. So ask Rabbeinu Ayona, if my path is straight, how am I supposed to find out what's right? How am I supposed to know what's right? That's doing the right thing. Says Rabbeinu Ayona, the post concludes, but the content of the heart is in God's hands. God will direct you. If you really want to know what your part is in life in the Gula, Hashem will direct you to let you see the right people, meet the right people, see the right cheer, whatever it might be. Hashem will give you the impetus to make it happen. So let's all make it happen. Let's all reach deep inside ourselves. Incredible rot on the Torah. We see in the upcoming parts of Shmos, the two most evil people you could possibly imagine seem to be Dosan and Bavira. They're making problems left and right, whether it be fighting, whether it be leaving the mun over, whether it be a myriad of other things going wrong. Always it seems to be pointed to Dosan and Bavira. Chazal teach us. Chamushim Yotz Mitzrayim, the Torah says. Some say one in five, some say one in fifty. I saw a medrash brought from Ramosha Sternbach, one in 5,000. How did Nelson Vaviram get out if they're such troublemakers? Says the Rush in his commentary on the Torah, because they had a Muna in the Gula. They believed it would happen. This is what we need to work on now, believing it will happen. We're going through great sorrows now, especially soldiers dying every day. We're in a war. It doesn't seem like there's any possibility for victory in a war against the enemy, which wants our total and complete destruction and seems to have an unlimited number of people willing to die. How are we going to win? The win is believe in the Gula. Use these events, strength or amuna, to realize we have nothing to rely on except for Hashem. Use the strength of our belief in the Gula and the Gula will come. 
the more we believe in it, the more it will come. We see this from Dustin of Avira, the most crooked, evil people around you can imagine, constantly doing the wrong thing, yet they believe in the Gula and Hashem saved them. Let's all work on this. Sapisi Yeshua is one of the six questions that will be asked. And I heard once from Rabdov Schwartzman in the Hesped he gave of Nelson Vogelvogel. He said, the Gemara doesn't say them questions. It doesn't say that we'll be asked these issues. It says we'll be told these six things. We'll get to Shemayim. Sapisi Yeshua. Topati Pachokma. Asakti Perivi. All these six areas. Right? So how can it be? And the answer, I believe, is is that we won't be asked. Hashem wants to know. Do we know that ourselves? Do we know that we need to have Sapisa Yeshua? Do we know that this has to be a deep passion within us to want the Gula? If we know that, then we'll have it. Let's all work on it. And let's hope that very, very soon we'll all be here in the base of Megdash, serving Hashem with great love and joy. Amen. Came to that side.